Grand RP is an awesome game, and they released a lot of updates. Recently, I'm not gonna lie, they haven't been the best updates in the world. And today, I wanted to talk to you about what I want them to do in the next update. And of course, be sure to comment down below what you wanna see in the next update as well, because I bet a lot of you guys have some great ideas. And sometimes the developers actually watch these videos, and they add that stuff to the game. They have in the past a lot, actually, which was really awesome. But either way, I was talking to some of the admins, and they were saying you should make a video on how to make one to two million dollars a day in Grand RP as an average player. And I was like, uh, that is gonna take a really, 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 really long time and gonna be very hard to do. Imagine just being an average player. Maybe you have 400 or 500K to your name, or imagine being a new player. You know how hard it is to make one million or two million dollars in a day, unless you're super rich and own a business or you buy grand coins, something like that. So in the next update, I really think they should add a way for us to make more money by actually just playing the game. Let's say you decide to get a job. Every single one of these jobs isn't gonna be able to make you over a million dollars in a day. Literally none of them. And unless you spend so much freaking time doing it, then maybe you can. Like being a taxi driver, for example, you set your price per kilometer to $1,000, then every trip, maybe you're pulling in about $2,000 to $3,000. Sometimes you get one for like 7K. But at the end of the day, you're gonna have to drive around as a taxi driver for like eight, nine, 10 hours in order to make a million. And that probably won't even be a million dollars. It'll be even less. So I think they should add something that'll allow us to make more money doing stuff in the city. Like, let's say you even decide to join an organization. When you start out, you're not gonna be making that much money. Like, I think the cap is like $65,000 in an hour, and only EMS employees make that amount, and that's when the purge is happening. Even when you're the chief of police. My friends have been chief of police, and their salaries really aren't that great unless they've already been on for about four hours, or they've been doing events and stuff like that. But even with events, like completing aircraft carrier and wedding, you get like 10 or 15K, same with bank robbery and stuff you just don't really make too much money. Over time, yeah, it'll add up. In terms of just finding a way to make more money in-game and being able to afford all of the stuff in-game, it's extremely hard. I know a lot of you are saying, oh, but isn't that a good thing? In a way, yes, but at the same time, no, because they haven't really added too many more ways for the average person to make a lot more money, yet everything in the city has skyrocketed in price. You guys remember when diamonds were 4,000 bucks, now they're over 10,000. Even upgrades for your cars. Every single one of the custom shops are at max prices. Like, it's crazy how expensive shit is. Just imagine you're a new player. Think about how hard it'll be for you to make $2 million. And even if you do end up making 2 million bucks, there's really not too much you could do with it. I remember one person commented on one of my videos saying they have $60 million and they can't really do too much. And I'm not gonna lie, they're kind of right. Like imagine trying to find a profitable business for 60 mil or even 100 mil or even 200 mil. 200 mil, you might be able to find a business that maybe makes you like 50K a day, something like that. But it's crazy how much everything goes up in price. Yet in terms of making actual money, there really isn't too many options for that. Like, let's just take this car to the custom shop, right? What's the state value? $1.2 million. Now, this is a fairly cheap car. Realistically, a lot of you guys are probably going to be pulling up with cars that are a whole lot more expensive than this thing. And this is a GTA vehicle, by the way. Not gonna lie, it's looking pretty damn nice. All right, we're at the custom shop. Let's drive in and let's see how much some upgrades cost. Rear bumpers. $50,000 for a rear bumper. That's just one basic upgrade. What about the wheels? How much would it cost to put some wheels on this thing? $187,000 for some wheels. A turbo, $37,000. Window tint, $75,000. Change in the color, only 12 grand. But either way, that's still extremely expensive. And don't forget, this car is only worth $1.2 million. I have cars in my garage that have $48 million state values, meaning prices to upgrade those cars are literally 48 times more expensive. So imagine you do end up making a million dollars and you have a car that you want to upgrade that has a $10 million state value. Well, you can bring it to a custom shop, toss some wheels on it, maybe, and that is pretty much it. There goes a million bucks. So either the prices of different things in game need to change, or we need to be able to find ways to make some more cash because it is pretty damn hard for anybody or any average player to make a lot of money. The rich get richer and then the average people in the city just don't have too many options. I know there are many, many different ways that you can make some money. Like I know a lot of people buy stuff and sell stuff. That takes a lot of effort. One of my friends did that one time and all he did was stand at beach market all day, literally from when he got on to when he got off. And that's like 10 hours. 
and that's all he did. Either way, it's really hard to make money. And I think in the next updates, they either need to adjust the prices of stuff. So if you bring, I don't know, a Ferrari to a custom shop, it won't cost you $500 or $600,000 to put some wheels on it or some underglow. It'll cost $60,000. Because if you're paying six hundred dollars you're literally paying somebody that owns that custom shop and making them millions of dollars. Literally every day, these guys are pulling in so much money. But there's no chance ever that we'll be able to own any of those businesses anymore because they all go for either half a billion dollars or more. Some of them go for even more than a billion dollars, which I find crazy. Imagine that, over a billion dollars. People are struggling to make a million and they're trying to sell businesses for a billion. So either change the prices of things in the next update or add more ways for us to make money without having to pay real money to get money, if you get what I mean. I know a lot of people out there that are watching might have a ton of money, but imagine you didn't and you didn't want to buy grand coins. You wanted to make money in the game like you can in many other games. Pretty hard to do that. I think they definitely need to fix something with the economy in the city. Either let us make more money or change the prices of stuff. Comment down below what you think of that, but also comment down below what you want to see in the next update. It could be either content, it could be quality of life changes, it could literally be anything. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and with that said, I will catch you guys in the next one.